According to a report from the Maine Attorney General's Office, Maine surpassed 700 drug-related deaths last year, a record high and a 9% increase over the year before. Wyndham Middle School wants to lower those numbers by educating their students on the dangers of the opioid epidemic. News Center Maine's Ann Baldridge was there with students today. At Wyndham Middle School, the conversation today is about opioids. It's sad when, like, I'll see something on social media of the amount of people that have died from an opioid addiction. Something their generation is already familiar with. So many people in this room could be... Brittany Reitman is a former Wyndham High School student. She's also a person in recovery on today's panel. She tells me now is the time to talk about it. I know that... Currently, there are some of these students who are already being introduced to substances, which is terrifying. As she knows firsthand what an addiction at a young age can lead to. Eventually, it led to a decade of substance use disorder in prison and treatment and detox and um, heartbreak for my family. And, you know, like I had all these goals and aspirations and substance use disorder totally just wiped those off the map for me. The seventh grade class was able to ask questions to a panel of people. They learned about the warning signs and what a substance addiction can become. What are your biggest struggles of recovery? When you enter recovery, um, almost everything has to change. Like I um, entered recovery when I was 19 years old. One of the panelists was Jacinta Hunt, subject of the 2020 documentary on generational addiction. What drives me to come here today is because if I had known in high school that people were talking about it or that I could ask for help, I started using at 15. My addiction went on for almost 20 years. It took majority of my life, or so it feels like it took majority of my life. Peter Hill is the assistant principal. He tells me why they picked this difficult issue. Addiction and opioid addiction um, really hits a lot of families. And so this is one that kids have seen in their community and they may have even felt in their own personal lives. The opioid epidemic is only increasing each year in Maine, which is why people like Brittany and Jacinta feel inclined to share their story. I had no idea that I was physically addicted. I had no idea that like my mind couldn't focus on anything else because I was actually already addicted to the substance. I didn't know what that meant and it took me a really long time to understand what that meant for me. If we stay silent about it, it stays deadly. If we talk about it, if we normalize it, if we work together as a team, we can save lives. Hoping to save lives one student at a time. In Wyndham, Ann Baldridge, New Center, Maine.